Hey everybody, as promised, I'm gonna give you a glimpse of the FVD Braunbacher harness bar that I put in my 2019 911 Carrera T. I am using the Schroth four-point harnesses. They are six-point compatible if I wanna go do uh, anti-submarine. And I know the lighting isn't great back here, uh, but I'll show you. Basically, the long length of the harness bar itself, the on both sides, that bolts underneath the rear shock tower bolts, the ones that hold the struts into the, the shock towers themselves. And then there's a bracket that goes behind this plastic piece right there. And that the bar and the bracket basically connect through the... Where, and the cars that don't have lightweight buckets, uh, there's a pin there that holds the, the back cushion upright. These cars don't have that, so I had to drill a hole through that and connect it through. But you know, once it's done, it looks a clean, tidy uh, installation. Didn't love having to drill through a nice piece of plastic um, that's $1,100 a pop, but hey, uh, that's what we do for safety. So, nice, clean installation. I picked this particular one because of a couple reasons. One, with the lightweight buckets, I couldn't find the the, the mount for the seat belts, basically what the non-lightweight buckets have in here. It doesn't make any sense that I couldn't find them, but I sure couldn't find them. Um, the Bray Krause uh, harness bar connects one here and then again into the back seat, but, uh, right down there, where the, basically where the, the part of the seat cushion would go into. Uh, for cars that do have back seats. I ultimately decided I did not want to cut through the carpet. I didn't want to mess around with the, uh, trying to find the, the mount uh, in the front for the seatbelt there. And this provided a really nice and clean, simple setup. Also, it's, well, you know, it's not terribly easy to remove. I can still put in rear seats here, should I chose to do so. Uh, of course, I won't have the pin that holds the rear cushion upright, um, but without that, I can fix it perhaps to the harness bar itself, and have a back seat for my kiddo if I want to. Um, super clean setup, I really like it. I would absolutely do it again if I needed to. Um, I'd say the only hard part was trying to drill through the hole of this one plastic panel and find the, the threaded bracket on the other side. I managed to do it twice, um, both sides, uh, nailed it. So it's <laughs> it's clearly possible with a, a little bit of feeling and making it work. Um, but that was the one thing that was about just a little bit difficult, a little bit thing that I, you know, I sweated uh, thinking through the process and made sure I was gonna go do it right. One quick thought while I'm back here, uh, if you have LWBs in any sort of a Porsche 911, you probably have a huge pain in cleaning your rear window. Um, I got something called, I think it's called Windshield Wow. Basically, it's like those aquarium cleaners where it's got a magnet on both sides and you uh, you spray the cloth and you basically run it across the whole uh, interior and exterior at the same time. Works fantastic. Uh, that was absolutely filthy because I could never access it. And uh, now I can, thanks to that wind, windshield window. Wow. Something like that. Something like that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to taking this on the track with the Schroth harnesses and thanks to the FVD Braunbacher rear harness bar.